Happy Monday! It's, just kidding, it's not a happy Monday. Jimmy Johnson's probably going to win his sixth championship. Who's happy about that? Not me. Welcome, as always, to my now ninth Chase Race Review. Only one more week to go in this Brick Cup Series. Season, seven days from the moment I'm recording this. We will know who our 2013 champion is. And uh, at the moment, it appears pretty likely that that's going to be Jimmy Johnson after uh, some pretty big point shakeups here at Phoenix Air National Raceway. So I'm going to be talking to you mainly about a couple major storylines. Kevin Harvick takes the win and, can, and basically keeps what, up, what, what little championship hopes he had still alive. He, uh, so he was able to capitalize when Carl Edwards, who was leading late on a different fuel strategy, ran out of fuel coming to the white flag and uh, finished 21st in the race. That was a really a uh, heartbreaker for Edwards. But uh, looking at chase implications, Jimmy Johnson now has, I don't even have to check, it was crazy. He's got a 28-point lead over Matt Kenseth, who basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into more detail in a minute, basically had his worst race of the season by far, and it came at a very uh, unopportune moment. Kevin Harvick, though, is still is only 34 points back, which is technically, mathematically still has a chance, I mean, a small chance, a very slim chance, but a chance. So, Jimmy Johnson comes into this final race at Homestead, Miami, which will be on Sunday. He comes into it basically needing a 23rd place or better finish, which basically means that unless he wrecks or has a serious problem or has an engine failure, he is going to win the championship. So, yeah, things looking good for Jimmy and uh, all you Jimmy Johnson fans out there much as I despise you at this point. But, uh, yep, that's about it. That's the chase punting scenarios. I'm going to go now into some more details about what happened during the race. Obviously, the major storyline was coming in. Jimmy Johnson versus Matt Kenseth. Who was going to get the upper hand? Who Was Kenseth going to be able to close on him? Would Johnson pull away? What would happen? I don't think anybody expected what happened to Matt Kenseth in this race. Um, you start from the beginning for Matt Kenseth. He had... Car first run of the race said the car was okay, wasn't terrible, wasn't great, but they knew they had to make it better if they wanted to compete and keep up with the track and so on, you know. So they of course made changes during the first pit stop, and those changes basically sent oh my goodness, they just sent that twenty twenty car just <laughs> bottom of the scoring loop. That it, they were terrible. Uh, basically after that, it got to the point where he basically had a twenty fifth to thirtieth place car. His car. He looked no better than Danica Patrick out there today. And that's saying something. When you're a series champion and you're barely able to pass guys like Bobby Labonte and Josh Wise at the end of the race, then you know that you have a problem with your car. Um, but, yeah, so it was, it was not... It was the worst possible scenario for the 20 team. Because this is a race... If they'd come in here and gotten caught up in a wreck or maybe, maybe even had an engine failure or something like that, that was kind of not net really in their control necessarily, you know, they would look back and been like, oh man, just bad, bad luck, you know, took us out of it. But the fact that they just, they unloaded, they were good in practice all throughout the weekend. I mean, they were top tens in all the practice sessions, qualified 14th, but a large part of that was due to the fact that they went out early. They were one of the first couple guys to go out during qualifying on Friday, so they had the disadvantage there. So generally, you went into this week, they even tested there a few weeks ago, you would just assume, yeah, they're going to have a top 5, top 10 car like they've had all year, and they'll probably have a chance to compete for the win late in the race if they get the right, you know, pit strategy or whatever. Same with Jimmy Johnson. Of course, we're expecting Jimmy to have a top 5 car too, so that's what made, made it so interesting. Jimmy did have a top 5 car. He finished third in the race, and that's about where I think he ran most of the time. That's about where he was. Uh, he had some quick, uh, some little brief scares early in the race and kind of midway points were in the... Uh, Got nudges here and there. Very first lap, he almost got spun out by Joey Logano, and that would have been a big shakeup in the points. But uh, generally, though, Jimmy Johnson was able to rebound from those small bound little things. But Matt Kenseth, they just couldn't figure out how to get his car right. It felt like he was on pit road. He had some. He was on pit road more than anybody in the entire race. I think he 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 was on pit road every caution. He was basically he was sitting there for like 20 seconds while they put spring rubbers in and took shocks and did, adjusted everything. They were like going all out on this car. It was like they sent it to a mini garage and uh, they could not get it right. And it was just boom, basically a tragedy. They took themselves out of the championship hopes. Of course, Kenseth after the race was real optimistic. I was watching his interview. I was like, come on, be angry. You just lost the championship. But uh, he wasn't angry. Oh, I'm getting a call from uh, Minnesota. 
here on my phone right as I'm uh, in the middle of recording this. Where should I answer it? Minnesota. I don't know anybody in Minnesota. I mean, not, I'm not answering it. Screw you guys. <laughs> anyway. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, uh, where was I? I was talking about something. I'm completely oblivious and lost to it now. But I was talking about something. Ah, well, I'm just going to keep going with whatever I was talking about. So, Matt Kenseth still has his hopes alive going into this final race. But as I said before, he basically needs to win or get a top five and hope that Jimmy Johnson crashes, gets a blown engine, does something like that. Because this happened last year to Jimmy. He had a... Uh, I don't remember, it was a rear, rear end house thing, something on the back of his car. It was a problem last year at, uh, at uh, Homestead, and he DNF'd. And um, I don't know, you look at it, I think Kenseth still has likely chances. Even Harvick, Harvick's only a few points behind Kenseth, so I think both of them still have a, a, a reasonable chance, I'd say, of possibly getting to Jimmy Johnson. Of course, they'd rather be there within 10 points of him, like Kenseth at least was hoping to be at the end of this week. But either way, now... I mean, the average race car driver has a wreck, gets caught up in something about one in ten races, which is about you know a third one, three or four races a year they'll have a problem. Jimmy Johnson now they've done nine chase races. He's been pretty much perfect in all these nine races, so maybe he's due. This tenth one will be his screw up race. Kenseth may have had his screw up race there last week at Phoenix, so maybe this week is Johnson's turned out the screw up week. And if Kenseth can capitalize on it or something, I mean, I'm just trying to think of numbers. I'm trying to keep. Kenseth or Harvick fans optimistic here about their chances because it looks because to be honest it looks like Jimmy's going to run away with it probably he's going to get a top five at, at Helmstead next week and win the, win the championship it's going to be all yeah 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 seeing it all before but uh so I'm desperate here I'm, I hope y'all are too at least the ones that aren't Jimmy Johnson fans I know that Jimmy's got some fans out there <laughs> whatever I don't even know what to say to y'all but you know I'm, I'm trying to keep everyone else's hopes alive that don't want Jimmy Johnson to win again because it gets really really old um, so, yeah, Kenseth and Harvick, the, the numbers don't lie. Nine out of every ten, or one out of ten races, somebody will screw up. This could be Jimmy's number ten. This could be his screw-up race, and Kenseth and Harvick could swoop in and steal it. What, 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 what would it mean if Kevin Harvick won this championship? That would be insane. After everything that happened at Martinsville with him and Ty Dillon and everything, and all the, you know, the stuff he's moving to Stuart Haas next year, I mean... How big would that be for Kevin Harvick and that organization and his relationship with Richard Childress? He's always talked about, you know, wanting to be able to leave RCR on good note and, every, and everything. And after Martinsville, it did not seem like that was going to be possible. But maybe if he if he can capitalize, if Johnson and, and, and Kenseth have problems this week at Homestead and Harvick goes out there and continues to run well like he's done most of this chase, then boom, you might be looking at your new series champion. And then our Richard Childress will feel bad that he's getting rid of him. <laughs> but, uh... That's all I have, I think, really, for today. I don't know how I can't see the timer. Oh, this is a pretty short episode, I guess. I, I'm just so depressed. I just wanted Kansas to do well. He didn't. Oh, well. I'll be seeing you guys again on Thursday, and that will be my last weekly racing video um, of the chase. And uh, if you haven't, if you missed it so far, I'm going to say it again. Double E Cup Series Season 4 Science will be uploaded sometime between Monday, November 18th and Friday, November 23rd. I'm not going to tell you guys the exact day or time. It's just going to be, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be between one of those five days. In that little window there, I will post the sign-up video some random time. And uh, good luck getting your cars. There's going to be about 28, I believe, available. The Kurt Busch car will not be there for race one, but he should be hopefully here for race two. Just going to throw that out there right now. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys look forward to that. Check out all my old videos if you haven't seen them yet. Figure out how we got to this insane point where Jimmy Johnson's probably going to win number six. And uh, I will see you guys next Thursday.